Good morning. So today is a really cool day because we are joining the Chain Gang Cyclists who are a London-based cycle club and have come out to Hillingdon to host like a track day, a chance for people to learn cornering, to learn how to sit in groups. I think it's awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. We've also got uh, JC who is a dude I met who was picking up his factor the day that I was making a factor video. And it's community stuff, I love it. Guys, stick around, we have a full track day. Van Riesel are here, you can test ride bikes. Seems like a cool thing to do. Welcome back to The What Life, let's roll. So this is Mr. Chain Gang Cyclist who started the whole thing up. Give me a quick kind of what days do you guys like to head out and ride and, and yeah. what's today about? Cool, so we, we ride Chain Gang Cyclists, we ride um, Tuesdays, Fridays, every other Saturday and every Sunday is our club ride. Um, today we, we've hired Hillenden Cycle Track um, just really to give people an experience of track cycling, um, to help them with cornering, to get off the road in a safe environment, um, and more importantly just to have fun and hopefully make a new friend that you can do a new ride with. I think that is awesome. <laughs> like, as in like genuinely, because there's so many facets to cycling, it's that this kind of bridges the gap between going out with mates and just like having a bit of fun to like, oh actually now I feel comfortable riding in a faster group, kind of sitting closer to someone's wheel, not... Yeah, yeah 100%. Cool. I think the other goal with the track as well is to enable people to feel comfortable riding, to be able to test things which you wouldn't ordinarily test on a road, right? Um, so hopefully the environment provides people with that ability to say, yeah, um, let me grab a mate, go on a ride, um, buddy up and just feel safe and have fun. Are we going to go to some loops? Let's do some loops, mate. Let's do some So we were shooting the Factor video the other week and, and JC <laughs> comes up and collects his bike and this is how I learned about today. He messaged me and said, look, we're doing a track day at Hillingdon, come on down if you, if you are around. And I was like, well, it's very local to me. Then I found out that the Van Riesel guys are here, but let's have a look at his brand new Factor. He's got an OSPW on the back. What size frame did you go for, JC? This is 58. Yeah. This is a 58, yeah. The, the, um, How the tall range. are you? 183. Okay, so six foot. foot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, this is um, this is what the computer come back with. Nice. So I let the computer do its thing. Yeah. I didn't argue with it. Yeah. And, um, Did you take it out for a test ride beforehand? No. Or? Okay. So I didn't. I haven't ridden any other bike apart from my old bike, which was a, a Planet X3 custom build and yeah, yeah. scambled <laughs> on your recommendation <laughs> it, it, it looks more aero <laughs> so, uh, so it saves a little bit looking aero is half the battle <laughs> So one thing that I am pretty terrible at, especially considering this is a reasonably new bike, is learning how much you can pedal through a corner. And I don't want to push the limits, but today is a really great day. And part of the way you learn is, ultimately you're watching the riders in front of you and how much they are pedaling through a corner, how much they are leaning. Obviously bike sizes, frames are all different, but it is part of the learning process because you are seeing other people do it. And even though ultimately you've kind of got to learn the limitations of your own bike, you know, if you see someone pedaling through a certain corner, you know that you have the ability to do it. And then it becomes about kind of the amount of lean you can put into it. I'm not trying to push any limits here, but it's a cool place to learn. And I think that's ultimately like what a cool day. So there's also tons of different abilities. So you get some people doing pretty chilled laps, some guys doing reasonably fast laps, then you get the big boys 
doing their speedy laps and I just got dropped by those guys. So they're coming around again though. Chance to ride two up. Let's do it. Yeah, we rock the party not stop like this. Yeah, we rock the party not stop like this. Yeah, we rock the party not stop like this. Some of the boys you saw us in the other group were used to the lines. For some people are still getting used to it, but communication. It's all about, on, the, on those corners especially, the line. And the lighter guys seem to just... Choo -choo. Yeah. <laughs> Us heavier guys need to actually put a little bit more power down. It's fun though. <laughs> it is fun though. <laughs> How many bikes have you sent out today, Nick? Uh, all of them, a couple of times. <laughs> really? Yeah, I feel really good. How many bikes do you have here? Okay, so we've got nine van riders here. Well, RCRs and RCR pros or just RCRs? <laughs> and the replica or not? Uh, there, is, there is a replica, yeah, but so that's... Uh, is it yours? <laughs> <laughs> so, van riders have brought along a bunch of RCRs, some RCR pros, and then Nick's got his RCR replica that he's going to let me take some pictures of and maybe go up and down the straight, because I'm bigger than him and he can't stop me. But <clears throat> it's cool. I'm looking forward to it. I might get out or try and get out on one of the RCR pros just to go and check it out see what it feels like but a lot of times when it comes to videos the bike that comes up a lot as a reference point in terms of cost and performance seems to be the Van Riesel so we've got to take it out for a ride now for all intents and purposes the only difference between the RCR and the RCR Pro is carbon layup a little bit lighter a little bit stiffer in terms of to bring the lightness down, they use, oh, sorry, to bring the weight down, they use slightly better carbon fiber in certain places. Better fi carbon fiber gives you more strength for less volume of carbon fiber. So <clears throat> the RCR Pro ends up being a little bit lighter than the RCR, but for all intents and purposes, same frame shape. Same frame shape for the RCR replica as well, isn't it? Just again, a better layup again. Yeah, so. The replica is a pro. So the Altegra spec. Pro, which is five and a half thousand, is the same frame set as Ben is currently winning. Them. Okay, I don't know whether you heard that, but the RCR Pro is ultimately the same frame set. Obviously, that the handlebars, the internal cable routing, and, and things like that are slightly different. <clears throat> but the frame set is the same for an RCR Pro as it is for the RCR replica paint job, things like that. It just looks cool. The RCR replica looks very cool. So we're just working our way through a slow, easy... Go straight on, go straight on, straight on, straight on, straight on. It's not closed, I think this is just for cornering, isn't it? So we're just doing a nice, slow practice of a chain gang, so through and offs. So just people get to learn the rotation, and we're doing it very slow and easy, so I think it's, I think this is great, 100%. Very good. <laughs> we are pushing about 42 watts but it's a good way to learn <clears throat> and you can just let people know when they're clear of the front tire. So this guy will come through, clear, and then he will come and sits on, next guy comes through. And then this is how you learn, part of the way that you learn. I think it's great. So this is a chance for some of the guys to come and just practice some cornering, yeah. which is really interesting because I watched an episode on YouTube with Chris Horner where I think it was uh, one of the girls crashed out in the Tour de Femmes 
and he basically was explaining that holding your outside foot nice and low actually keeps more pressure down on the tires. As soon as you lift that outside foot to start pedaling again, you actually release the amount of pressure that you are putting through the tires and that's when the rear tire can skip out from underneath you if you are on the very limit of taking a corner. So knowing when to start pedaling on a corner and when to basically just hold that uh, kind of non-pedaling kind of scooch through, I, I guess, is quite important. Wouldn't you say? Oh, very important. <laughs> <laughs> that's approved. <laughs> on the drop, Liv. Yeah, chance for people to get down the drops and just take some corners. Trying to hold lines. Yeah, good chance. To, like, when else do you get to come practice this in like a really nice little hundred meter circuit? I know the tent, you want to like, like it's urgency to like get back on the power but yeah. the whole point of this is a cornering drill so we just want you to stay nice and smooth nice and tight yeah, they're not taking me at all, they? and then pedal yeah good back lovely was that your first time like chain ganging or first ga first time chain gang first time hillingdon circuit yeah so yeah it's all it's all new to me have you done rolling through an us before no nope. how'd you find it um oh wait as in like um yeah like the rolling have you done that i've done it on like yeah. Regent's park before yeah yeah, yeah 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 but still i mean i think the faster you go the more you need to be mindful and you know yeah but it was good so you find it useful coming down here 100 oh, percent, very useful and i'll definitely be back <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's cool i just think it's really cool that you get to come and practice it in such a safe environment mm -hmm, definitely. Like, and uh, really chill not you know get the speed got quicker right but mm -hmm. it's chill and yeah, exactly yeah yeah I think yeah you can you know do, you listen to your body right and yeah. if you want to just peel off the can and yeah. you take the confidence from what happens here and then you take that onto the road exactly and, yeah. and yeah. a lot of cycling is down to confidence isn't mm -hmm. it oh 100 percent. yeah <laughs> that's cool i'd like i'm really loving it thank you <laughs> Big shout out to Chen Gang Cyclists for putting on Days Out today. I think it's kind of invaluable. I think it's great. I think everyone's had a good time. You can come learn. You don't even have to come and learn anything. You can just come smash laps with your mates, which I think is what a few of the guys did. So even in that sense, it's a lot of fun. And if you are a brand or you work with a brand in the cycle industry, this is the kind of environment that you want to work with these communities, like the Van Riesel guys coming down and letting people test out bikes. I didn't actually dive on a Van Riesel today. I might save that for another time. But I think it is a great way for a community to come down and kind of bring some brands in so guys can test out things. I think that is a good thing. I know it feels like in some ways it can feel like brands using communities, but also it gives people a chance to go and ride these bikes. So I do think it is good. Massive kudos to Chain Gang Cycling just for sorting this out, just for taking it on themselves to put this day on because it's, it's cool and it's a great opportunity I think everyone's had a good time. There's no pressure to ride and do something or not do something. It's just, it's nice and it's different. And 
having that in part of the, the, the calendar just makes me think that I think these guys are doing good things and I like that. I like it a lot. This is the man that organized it. So big kudos. Appreciate you, man. Such a good day. Yeah, it's been nice. You enjoyed yourself? Oh, I loved it. I loved it. You, you can come down and do something. You can come down and not do something. You can just come down and... Hang out. Yeah. <laughs> Eat My, food. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mostly everyone here will come and do our rides. So we, so as I say, we do rides every week. But Sunday is our club ride day. Yeah. So we got like... How many got on Strava? Like 1,800? 1,850 on Strava right yeah, now. What's, the best, Strava. what's your best, what's the best way for people to get hold of you? Through Strava or through Instagram? Instagram. Instagram. Just, direct in there and you can yeah. Yeah. link it to all the different avenues then. Um, yes, yeah, I'm the base of everything. Strava's where the ride gets put up. And the website comes in, to be fair. Yeah. Bigger and bigger, 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 and bigger, and bigger things, boys. Bigger well done. Things. Cool day. Very cool day. Right guys, we're gonna leave this one here. I've dropped all the socials for Chain Gang uh, down in the description. I'll link everything up. Drop them a message on Instagram, join their Strava group. You can find out about the rides and all the other stuff they have going on. Thanks for joining guys. Do like and subscribe if you enjoy the content and I'll see you guys on another one soon.